Today I'm going to go over something um, I forget how to do all the time and I figured maybe if I make a video uh, it'll help me remember and uh, maybe it'll help someone else out. Uh, I always forget how to change the time from time to right there and I'll, I'll show it a little use better later. Um, you can show the amps how much your uh, railroads uh, using for the amps right there so um, I'll show you guys how to do that it's on page 58 of the uh, manual so um, I'll show it right here and it's on the top portion and uh, I'll, uh, I'll do a little video on um, how to do it and what it looks like right now as you can see I have the time being shown there on the right hand side and um, we're gonna go over uh, how to change that to the amps being used by the railroad. So here is the uh, view of the whole entire cab handheld unit. And what the instructions say is to push this program escape button right here. And it says to push it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it brings you to set cab parameters. Push enter. And it says, do you want track current? And push one for yes. One. And then I push program escape again. And it shows our cab, our current for the track right now. And there's the track current as it is right now. With the, uh, no trains moving. It's just sitting there at 0.6 amps. Okay, so now I want to show you what uh, what changes with the amps as um, you go through the sounds and uh, speeds so right now it's off there's nothing happening um, I turn the headlight on still no change then we will turn the bell on no change Still no change. Then I have a break. No change. See, we got change there, and I changed my switch, which has LEDs in it. Something I learned recently was the color of the LED has um, different colors have different amp draws. Right now I'm on green which is 3 amps and then when I change it to yellow we'll bring it up to 6. So we're at green right now we're going to try to go through the uh, sounds again. No change. Still no change. Alright, let's uh, try to move this. See what happens. Now we're up to six. That's speed step one. Kind of all over the place. Alright, let's see how it does as we go faster. I just think this is a, a cool tool to use right now. Um, I'm not doing any uh, timetable or anything right now, so I don't need the time. Um, I'm just pretty much running trains on a track and testing things out so um, it's just cool to see the amp usage I don't have anything that's built into the fascia like a lot of people do where it shows you the amps 
So it's a cool feature, and uh, I like to use it. Not bad for full speed. Bounces around a lot, but at least you know what kind of amps you're using. Alright, well, that's all I got for this video. Um, it helped me out, so hopefully it'll help you out. Thank you. It makes sense if you don't think about it. High five. Good job.